Greetings fellow Earthians, my name is Rachel Aspen and I'm already aware that this isn't like the most aesthetically pleasing setup, but you're gonna see it for maybe five minutes. That's way too long, time isn't real. So I wanted to come on face cam really quick to explain a couple of things before we actually get into the meat of the video. So first and foremost, the reason why the drawing at the end of the speed paint footage looks ridiculously different than the drawing you're gonna see at the end for the end screen is because as I was drawing the speed paint I realized god this is an unsalvageable mess so I turned off the camera to try and fix it. Then I added a glossy taco of denial then immediately pulled my fingers away from the camera because I realized what the f is this Christine? I was embarrassed by how much time it was taking for me to draw what should have seemingly been a very simple picture. <laughs> Additionally, this whole speed paint was just made so I could have an excuse to ramble about the Umbrella Academy. So it's less about the art and more about my completely unwanted opinions. With that being said, here's me drawing a picture and rambling about the Umbrella Academy and also in Gallagher. Recently I came home for your summer break and when I did that one of the first things that I did was rewatch The Umbrella Academy but this time with my parents. When I first watched The Umbrella Academy I want to say that I already really liked it. I liked the tone of the series, I liked the visuals, and I liked the characters. But when I watched it the first time I really felt like there was something missing. Upon my rewatch I realized what that missing piece was. It's because when I watched the series for the first time I would made a post on my Tumblr asking if it was even worth it to watch it in the first place. Pretty much everything I'd heard about the series was positive, but I'd been hearing that there were a lot of problematic aspects, and I didn't want to support something that was going to be like the second Colgate, where we should have known from the beginning that it was gonna be really bad, but we ignored all the warning signs, but a lot of people were telling me that it was worth watching and a lot of the recommendations I'd been reading were coming from people who were saying like, oh, it's worth it, if only for Klaus. The first time I watched it, I watched it really, really wanting to like Klaus and thinking he was going to be my favorite character. And I think that's why there was something missing for me when I watched it the first time because upon my rewatch when I was doing it more just like for myself, for the joy of showing it to other people, I realized that Klaus really just isn't my favorite character. Uh, my favorite characters are the Handler, Ben, and Five in that order but functionally tied. Whilst Klaus is my fourth favorite character, he's pretty far down on the list and I like a appreciate him and I like his story and I think it's interesting. I don't think that he's really the driving force of the show for me, which when I wanted him to be is why I think there was so much missing. Anyway, so I know it's hard to tell because it didn't really turn out looking like him at all. I am trying to draw Five, who is, as I said, one of my favorite characters, and I want to talk about him for a second. Basically by that I mean I want to talk about Ian Gallagher and I want to talk about his tweets that a lot of people in the fandom have been bringing up. I feel like I should really quickly get one of my opinions out of the way. Anytime you have to say it's not incest technically, <laughs> that's not great Ryan. For a lot of people the quintessential fandom experience is all about the ability to ship things and I generally agree with that. I get a lot of enjoyment out of shipping things in most of the shows that I watch. However, I am very against shipping the, like, Hargreaves siblings. I think it's weird. However, I think I can say that while simultaneously not being disgusted by the show's inclusion of a relationship between Allison and Luther. Choosing to depict Allison and Luther as being in a romantic relationship whilst simultaneously referring to all the other children who lived in that environment as their siblings is just another, like, sign that they were abused as children. Their relationship is a direct result of the abuse they suffered as children. It's like people who are super against Luther, despite the fact that they still support characters who also did really bad things. All of the characters do bad things, and all of the characters also do good things. They all make mistakes as a direct result of how they were raised. Like, every single one of the characters makes sense if you just take like 0.5 seconds to think about them, and making jokes about like Luther being on the moon is not funny actually. Oh, anyway, sorry, we were in the middle of discussing and 
incest. A lot of people in the Umbrella Academy fandom kind of really don't like the actor who portrays Five because they think he's a bit of an idiot. And first and foremost, he's 15, of course he's a bit of an idiot. If you're like currently 15 or younger and you're watching this and you're like, I'm not an idiot, I'm super smart for my age. Wait like four years and you can look back on yourself and be like, oh god, I was an idiot when I was 15. But one thing that a lot of people don't like him for is a particular thread of tweets where Aiden Gallagher said incest rights. Basically what he's saying is, oh, they're not siblings, they're just students at a boarding school, which means it's not weird for them to be in relationships, because you wouldn't find it weird to be in a relationship with one of your classmates. And then he has another tweet that's basically like, oh, Five and Vanya used to have crushes on each other when they were kids, but that obviously isn't something that ever worked out. And then there's another one where he pretty much insinuates that Klaus and Ben are in love. Whilst I don't agree, I'm going to defend him really quickly, so don't come for me. <laughs> the first two tweets provide a really good insight into just how Aiden chooses to portray Five, and they make a lot of sense when analyzed from the perspective of Five. If Aiden chooses to portray Five as a character who doesn't view the other Hargreaves children as his siblings, that works. And if he chooses to portray Five as somebody who was in love with Vanya when they were children, that's a decision that he's completely free to make as an actor. However, we need to recognize, and fucking Aiden needs to recognize, that he can only speak for Five. The actors can't talk about, like, the other characters as if they know what's going on in the heads of the other characters. Like, Aiden can speak say Five had a crush on Vanya when they were children and make that canon because that's how Aiden chose to portray Five in the show. However, Aiden can't say Vanya had a crush on Five because he doesn't determine how Ellen or the actress who portrayed Vanya as a child portrays Vanya. He's not in charge of Vanya's character. He's solely in charge of Five. The same applies to the tweet where he insinuates that Ben and Klaus are in love. He is not in control of Justin or or Robert's actions. When asking actors about their opinions on shows, we as fans need to remember that they can only speak for their own character. And unless they've said, I was talking with one of the writers and the writer said blank, they can't speak for any of the creative decisions in the show outside of how they choose to portray their own character. Aiden didn't write the show or direct the show. He's solely involved in the creation of Five's character in that he chooses is how he portrays Five. You can't read the things Aiden says about Five and dismiss them because you don't like Aiden while simultaneously acknowledging Klaus as being canonically genderqueer and pansexual. Because Klaus being genderqueer and pansexual is simply something that Robert has said in his choice to portray Klaus that way. So if you say, Klaus is canonically a queer man, while simultaneously side-eyeing everything Aiden says about his character, you're being a massive hypocrite! There's a lot of things I don't agree with Aiden on, particularly politically. However, in the cases of him saying things like, I portray Five as having had a crush on Vanya. I portray Five as not viewing the characters as his siblings. Then those are things that are canon for Five and for absolutely nobody else. Does that make any sense? I don't feel like I'm explaining myself particularly well. You can't look at that first tweet in the series and say, oh, well, they're all just students at a boarding school, which means that it's not weird for me to ship them because in the show, the other characters refer to each other as being siblings. So that's not something that all of the characters can agree with. They view each other as a family. Anyway, I am tired of rambling, so I'm just gonna say thanks so much for watching. Here's the end screen.